So we made a mistake. Mm -hmm. We have arrived in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, which we are so excited to start exploring Cambodia. But it turns out this weekend is the biggest <laughs> holiday of the whole year. It is Khmer New Year. And that means this city is dead quiet. Like Everyone everything's closed. Everyone seems to go to the countryside. So we are excited to explore the city, but don't really know what today is going to entail because everything's closed. But we're hopefully going to find some exciting things to do. Starting early because it's nice and cool in the morning. And by cool, it's still 35, 35. degrees. <laughs> Let's go. Also, we're recovering from a cold, so that doesn't help. We're Keith and Dev, and we're trying our best to explore the world. Over the last few months, we've been exploring parts of Asia, and Cambodia is our next stop. Subscribe to follow along. First things first, we're off to the Royal Palace. It is closing in about an hour and a half for lunch break, so we're gonna make it just in time. We think it's open, we're inside, and we have to have masks. So we're gonna go try and pay and see how much this costs. We made it in, it was $10 USD per person to have entrance to the palace. So mm -hmm. we're gonna walk around for the next hour that it's open and explore and hopefully learn some things. It's super peaceful and it's very nice. Mm -hmm. So let's walk around. Folks, I hate to be a negative Nelly, but it is uncomfortably hot. <laughs> so see how many times we say it's hot in this video. Like, it is incredibly warm, like it's insane. But we do have a pool and air conditioning and there's potential iced coffees down the road, which is keeping us going. We haven't had coffee today, so Ali B, you'd be proud of me. Haven't mm -hmm. had coffee yet. It's manageable once you get past the fact that it's heat. Well, oh, I just said it's not manageable. <laughs> it is hot, but that's what it's saying. doable. Now, just we've broken a sweat, we're good to go. Yep. We realize like how lucky we are to be exploring here, even if it is the hottest time of the year, yep. and it's not busy, like it's still so cool that we are here. Yep. So this is gorgeous, and we learned it was painted in 1904, and it's depicting some kind of Hindu story. I'm sorry, that's all we know, but it is just a beautiful piece of artwork. We found ourselves a nice giant tree in the middle of the palace and it's just, just being beside a tree always makes us feel better. Ficus Carica is the name of this tree. <laughs> Mr. Ficus. Yeah, it's nice to have some shade. It's a really nice canopy because of this tree. And this is a beautiful, beautiful palace ground. Some parts we don't have access to because the king actually still lives here. We also when can't he, film inside the temples. Here. Yeah, but it's been really beautiful to see and mm -hmm. start to get into like Cambodian culture and yeah, history. Yeah, for real. So. And get exposed to this heat. Yes, that too. <laughs> in the middle of the museum. This is like a, I think it's like a authentic home. What really An authentic like? house, yeah. Mm. On stilts, with mm. beds like that. We just left the palace and there's a nice little coffee stand right here. So we are getting coffee. So we have not yet had coffees today. <laughs> so I'm very excited for a nice iced coffee and then we're gonna walk back to our place probably jump in the pool and let this heat pass and then go exploring tonight. So another thing we've learned, instead of saying just no sugar added, we also have to say no sugar and condensed milk because those are sort of different things and miscommunications can happen. So this tastes like a, a nice cap from Canada, which is really good, but still sweet. <laughs> We're still learning how to do this. So that was a beautiful thing to do, honestly. And I really yeah. enjoyed that coffee. Oh. Even if it was sweet, it was Magnifique. amazing. It was so good. Coffee in and general. And we're downtown. Do you hear me speaking, I have energy now because we of the coffee. We both do. And I think I'm getting used to the, the, the heat. heat. 
I think I've sweat as much as I could and my body's like, I have no more sweat to give. Yep, agreed. Even though I'm hydrated, I've been drinking water. And so we're just walking through a really beautiful park and we were just saying, it is empty. Like there's yeah. no people around. There's like, if you look down here, we're in the middle of downtown in this beautiful park and there's no one. It's like, we're And I think low. that's a pro of being here that's during Kimer cool. New Year. Yeah. And we're gonna like, hopefully tonight, maybe we'll see some celebrations, but even if we don't, it's a really cool experience to experience a city. And, and personally, we like when it's quiet, True. you know? We sort of, we're Canadian, so we like, you know, less people and stuff and less crowds. Mm, I am getting used to this heat. Yeah, right? Let's go. Maybe, just, so maybe it cooled down. <laughs> I don't know, but I agree, I'm okay now. So this is the friendship monument we just learned. Mm -hmm. This is the Cambodia-Vietnam Friendship Monument, which was built as a testimonial of gratitude for and in memory of the sacrifice of Cambodian people in the cause of Vietnam's territorial unification during the 60s and 70s, and the sacrifice of Vietnamese army and people in the liberation of Cambodian people from the genocidal regime of the democratic Kampuchea in the 1970s to 80s. So this is a good time to mention that if you're not aware, the modern history 20th century history of Cambodia is really quite dark as it went through this crazy time of a communist regime and a whole genocide killing uh, millions of people. So we are actually going to go visit the museum to learn about it because we think it's important that you learn about the history of Definitely. the countries you're visiting. Um, that being said we aren't going to film it because we think it's we want to pay our respects personally and we don't want to mm -hmm. um, be filming the whole thing. So we are going to go and learn about it but it's mm -hmm. not going to be part of the vlog. That's right. No, it's definitely an important thing while we're here, and it's definitely a darker thing, but it is a must. We have to learn history, and history is important, otherwise it repeats itself. Exactly. So, a little serious, but it's true. On a different note, look at how empty this is. We are literally alone in this park, what the heck? Th this is insane. I think we can walk all the way through. This is on the way to our place, so might as well. This is the best thing about meandering through a city, discovering temples on your own. Yeah. Simple enough, on Google Maps, this place is called Wat Batumbete, which is the Batumbete Temple in Monastery. Whether there's an exit or not, that's for us to discover in the next 10 oh, minutes. there is right here. We're good. Oh, good. We found the exit. Hooray! Another busy yet empty street. All the shops are closed along. <laughs> All along here. Like, super empty. But there are some that are still open. I know we're a grocery store. Wait, we don't know if it's going to be open or not. Oh my god. But we're going to head there. It's 24 hours. It's called Super Duper, what a fun name. I know, it is fun. But there are still things that are open, so I guess, you know, it's okay, we're fine. Just walking by and you'll see your casual shrine, right here, and people make offerings with water and soda pop. And fruit. With incense, isn't that neat? Open, thank goodness. I was like, I'm thinking it's gonna be closed and we're not gonna be able to get food. Oh, hello. Hooray. It's open, yay! <laughs> How is you it in here? See. Also, this grocery store is crazy western and it has a bunch of gluten free things. I haven't found gluten free bread, but there's like gluten free cookies and stuff, which is interesting. Anyways, we're here to get instant noodles for lunch. We're also alone in the grocery store. So this is all instant noodles here. And I was like, oh man, no rice noodles. But there's a section over here, all full of rice noodles, so I can have some too. So I think, are you going with rice noodles too? Keith? Yep, I think okay. so. So we're gonna go with the Phnom Penh ones and then the other ones I had. I've had two. We've been here for a day and it's cheap and instant noodles. They actually taste good. Noodles and cheap beer too, cheap drinks. Oh yeah. This is so nice. A little Singapore beer. Cheers. Cheers. Our mm. Airbnb is really close to downtown. It's nothing too fancy. It's a uh, family run and it mm. is just perfect. It's it so cute. Perfect. It's so nice and, and it's got a pool so we can cool off midday, which is awesome. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go under. Oh, oh this feels so great. 
And now it's budget lunch time. This looks delicious. Some instant noodles that were 37 cents each with an egg. And we added sprouts in it. I'm excited. I have to say the instant noodle packets here are very good. And also it's rice different. noodles. Mm -hmm. And it's rice noodles so I can eat it. It's hydrating. This is great. And we got salt in here. Check out our dessert. Dragon fruit. And the dragon fruit here is insanely beautiful. Look at this, it's bright red. It's just phenomenal, it's just the prettiest thing I've ever seen. And I think I'm gonna dig into it. You eat it like that, like ice cream. Oh, it's so satisfying. How's it taste? Refreshing, delicate, and not too sweet. It's so good. It also dyes everything, so watch out for your clothes. And we're back out now. Let's go. It's the evening. It is the Songkran Khmer New Year Festival, so people have their water guns yes, we've seen on their mopeds. Earlier today, maybe everybody was hibernating. Mm -hmm. Although we're on an empty street. Again. So essentially, they uh, they spray people with water guns, mainly kids and people it's, on motorcycles. It's a lot of fun. We have to be careful with the camera, obviously. Yeah. And we don't know how much of that we'll see. We know it's really big in Thailand. We're not we know sure it's how also big it is here, seems to be big in Siem Reap right now. But yeah, Phnom Penh seems quiet. So we'll see what the night is to bring. We'll try to be careful as well. It's definitely busier than it was earlier when we walked by to go into the palace. There are now some people here, but still not crazy busy. So we're gonna walk around. We realized we should have brought our GoPro, which we didn't, because there is some water, but we're gonna feel it out and see how it is with the camera. There's the royal palace we were at earlier, which is really cool. And now we're in the main park, and there's tons of people just having picnics, having fun, hanging out with the kids, little families everywhere. Breeze coming in, there might be a storm, but we'll see. Tonight it's a bit stormy for a sunset cruise, so we could do that tomorrow. Because we have one more night here, so we will be doing that. But we have something else in mind. Well, that's the night market Our we're gonna go to. Our plan is to go to the night market that apparently is open every night, except probably the next two nights. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But hey, people are really friendly, and they ask, "Hey, can we spray you?" Or well, we said, "We said like, yeah, we have the dry sack." Put the camera away. People so. are very nice and friendly. So now we have to find somewhere to eat, though. Because yeah, it's true. We're gonna eat here. That's too bad. We can't see the Phnom Penh night market, but. Next time. We needed food, so there's a place just beside the night market. We decided to come to get a nice dinner, and it's here. Sometimes things don't work out as planned in terms of we've heard of the Phnom Penh night market and it's closed. But what's really cool is we got to see a lot of the locals spraying each other with water guns, and we're here at a time most people do not come here, so it's unique. So we're gonna dig in because we're starving. I got dumplings. How are they? Mm, quite nice, actually. And then the chicken I'll try. Bit of a spice too. It's all right. That was a lovely dinner, and we'll see you tomorrow. It's the next day, and we're gonna go on the boat. Sally, we promised them we'd come back today and here we are. We made it to the top of the boat and we're given free beers. That means that I get two because then <laughs> I can't have it. A little warm, but that's all right. The bottom's cold. Cheers. Cheers.
So by the way, if you literally just come down to the Mekon here in Phnom Penh, there's so many of these boats. They all cost $5 USD and you get a free beer with it. We haven't actually gotten out on the water yet because we got here kind of early, we think, and they wait until it fills up before we head out to hopefully catch the sunset. It is a bit cloudy tonight as well, so I don't know if we'll see the sunset. I don't but think it's gonna rain. Fingers crossed there's like the sun sort of going down. <laughs> like that we are off the boat has filled up a bit it's cool we've noticed it seems to be like a lot of local tourists as well as tourists. I think because it's the holidays so people yeah. are coming out to which is awesome to, to see it's awesome to see happy people celebrating like you said this mm -hmm. is Devin's like this is credits to Devin after seeing some pretty horrendous things yes. at the museum we went to the museum today and it was heartbreaking but it was something we needed to do definitely but on now a happier we're going note, to enjoy the sunset a breezy sunset along the Mekong River Honestly, this is not at all what we expected. We had no idea there was gonna be a Happy New Year, huge celebration here, although it actually was a huge celebration. It was really quiet is what I mean. But that's the whole point of travel is you never know what you're gonna get. When you go to a place, you can do a ton of research and then everything's closed. But it's been really cool being here for the holidays and seeing the people at night. Like last night on the Tuk Tuk home, we actually got sprayed with water guns and it was actually really cool. So it's been a really cool start to our time here in Cambodia. And like, guys, I'm so excited for what's to come because I have no idea what's gonna happen. <laughs> So we're able to see the royal palace that we visited and it is lit up and it's like excessive like one of those like crazy Christmas houses with like a ton of lights and we're gonna walk by it later but I, I, I guess I'm looking at the skyline and I'm really impressed by this place because for one we haven't explored that much and it's been quiet but there's way more to this place and I think we can say the same thing about Cambodia I think we're gonna be pretty impressed by this country I mean this city is much bigger than what we saw and there's way more to this country than what we, what we know Keith's new favorite fruit? It is. And it comes in a bowl. A biodegradable bowl. It is, definitely. It reminds me of ice cream. It's amazing. I feel like dragon fruit I've had before has never been this sweet and beautiful. I can't get over this fruit. 